you know, he he's opening up more because he has to, um, because of the very means of of what what he does and how people rely on him to. So, you know, the the his characteristics are kind of evolving and opening as he's fumbling through life, which is which is so exciting to play. I'm so excited to have Perry Mason back. So excited to have you back on my screen. Uh, ah. You know, I remember you saying uh, before season one that you were kind of terrified about the idea of playing Perry Mason, but you had to do it. Uh, so did it feel easier putting the hat on this time around? Sort of yes and no in that, which I was very relieved about. They, they when, when you meet Mason for the first time in the second season, it's not quite where we left off. It's, the, the time period is relatively short. It's about six months between both seasons. But the difference in Mason is quite succinct. Uh, and you, you see that very, very quickly. It's not the kind of comfortable Mason we ended season one with where he's done the trial, new suit, names on the door, everything's great. He's having a real crisis um, about his own capabilities or his qualifications and this, this imposter syndrome that he's, he's kind of living with as to where he's found himself. So... It was an entirely new angle to come to bring, you know, for season two that brings with it its own sets of uh, of nerves, but but exciting because it's something new and kind of dense to play. I think, like you said, you know, he has kind of pulled in after the Dodson case and he's doing more civil stuff when the season begins. Um, did you kind of miss doing that investigative legwork that was in the first season and going to all those different locations or was it nice to kind of settle into to court mode a little bit no i i think it is i think in his heart mason is that investigator that's what uh, almost he does best or you know sometimes his best lawyering work comes from his grounding as an investigator um you, you know it's all one big investigation to him ultimately and i think that's when he does you know he does his his best work. The real kind of legal legal of them is Della. That's, you can see that, and you see in season two, that's when she begins to really flourish and shine as, um, as that lawyer. But yeah, there, there were a lot I missed. I, I like the kind of, the legwork he does, the kind of, because it allows the audience to, to discover in real time with him. And I think that's always exciting when, when I, you know, personally, when I'm watching, I like learning with the detective what's, what's happening at any given moment. You get that legwork in eventually though. And I feel like, cause in the first season, you know, I feel like Perry's getting beat up from all angles, emotionally, physically this season, he's, he's still taking it emotionally, but he gets to fight back a little bit at, you know, you get into some skirmishes there. So what was it like to explore, I guess this more almost uh, open side of Perry, this more aggressive side of Perry of Perry. Cause in some moments I was like, am I having Philip Jennings flashbacks here? <laughs> You know, I, I just, I, I enjoy, Perry, Perry's on a huge journey. Like from, from, from season one, they've put him on this train that is not going to stop. So, so every stop is something, you know, something bigger to explore, to overcome or to, to play. It, it's, it's, certainly, it's certainly not dull. So they're kind of opening up many facets of him, you know, that, that was kind of great. And at, at times I thought, I thought, you know, he was becoming, he becomes more closed because of what he's harboring himself. Um, and other times, you know, he, he's opening up more because he has to, um, because of the very means of, of what, what he does and how people rely on him to. So, you know, the, the, his characteristics are kind of evolving and opening as he's fumbling through life, which is, which is so exciting to play. Yeah. And it feels like the show is evolving with him almost. I think what's so interesting about this iteration of Perry Mason and this season is especially is the way it looks at justice from all sorts of angles. It's not as neat and tidy. Some people may call it like a modern spin, but it just, it feels more truthful. So what do you think is the underlying truth of this season in terms of, you know, how justice is meted out in the modern world today and, and how Perry searches for it in not only his personal life, but in, you know, Los Angeles at the time. That became the kind of, the, the, the kind of benchmark of the season, which is this, this sense of justice and, and what that is. Um, and maybe rather depressingly in the discovery of season two is how little we've evolved almost over a hundred years within a judicial system that still, you know, treats people of different colors differently and different, um, statuses differently and, you know, those with wealth are treated different than those who, 
who aren't. So, you know, certainly an exploration of that. Um, like I said, possibly not the most inspiring one because you, you, you notice that it still goes on. But um, you hope there's hope, hope is born from kind of Mason, Mason's decision in a way that you can either do something about it or you can't, or you don't. And, and he chooses to. And I think, if anything, I hope that that propels something. One more question before I go. As a huge fan of the Americans, I'm just so curious. Do you ever do a mental check-in with Bill Jennings? How is he doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder, you know, like so many, a lot of people ask, me, like, what do you think Phil's doing right now? And you kind of go, <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a part of me that kind of sees him in a kind of, uh, 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 you know, Moscow high rise, sat in the window, looking out, drinking vodka, slightly <laughs> alone. Elizabeth really hating him as he's kind of going. <laughs> Wow, what if I just stayed? I wonder what Henry's doing. <laughs> I hope Paige is alive. <laughs> exactly. Well, I hope he's happy. I hope Perry finds happiness. I loved this season so much. Um, and thank you so much for your time today. It was such a pleasure to speak with you.